Hello, hello, geezers and geezettes of the internet. This time I'm going to talk about Scorpion, yeah. I'm going to mostly talk about what not to do with Scorpion, because, like, you're going to ranked, you'll play someone, they're either going to pick Scorpion first and play like an idiot, or they're going to lose with whatever other character they're playing, and then go, do you know what? I'm going to pick my Scorpion. And then they're going to pick Scorpion and play like an idiot. And I'm going to show you why this is, and how to beat it, and... Hopefully, if you're one of those scorpions that's just playing like a complete loon, you'll see the way and, uh, you know, evolve a little bit, get a bit of strategy into your game plan. All right, let's do this. Okay, right. First things first. Forget this move. This move no longer exists to you. Forget it. It's gone. All right, you ready? This move. Forget it. It don't exist to you. Look what happens. You die. All right? You just die for this move. And you gain nothing. All right, okay. So look at what you gain when you actually hit someone with it. Okay, it does 9%. They're not full screen. Scorpion ain't doing anything to you full screen. So for, just forget it. It's gone. You don't do this move. You forget this move. There's only one scenario to ever do this move. And that is... When they're about to die. Right? When they've got no health. Maybe two bars of defensive left. And you want to chip them out and do this. That's the only, the only scenario, really. So forget it. It's gone. That move does not exist to you anymore. You do this, like, this is what Scorpions are doing online. They'll just be like, well, I've got, I've got some space now, so I'm just going to swing out this move. You will lose. You will lose against anyone that knows what they're doing. Forget this move, all right? Move sucks. The only reason you have this move is because it is a prerequisite to be able to use this string with his, his uh, combo ender in this variation. So it's basically unlocking another move that you need if this didn't if this string didn't exist you would never take death spin all right so death spin dead forget it useless move for like 99 percent of scenarios except for when they're on one percent which is the one percent of scenarios you want to use it death spin it's gone forget it all right okay next all right okay next one i see a lot of people in rank doing this like this is this is a string that there is no why are you doing it it's one of them it's one why are you even going to bother doing that the only reason you're going to do that is to try and lose all right okay you ready all right this string forget it same thing exactly the same thing as the death spin forget it you're just going to die all right okay let's see what you gain on hit for it okay you get a you get a pretty good knockdown like you could use it as um unbreakable damage off of the spear if it's going to kill them something like that but you don't want to do it on block. If you do it on block, you're losing. All right, you're just losing. There's not nothing to gain from here that you couldn't have done this instead, which is minus five. You're safe. You're all good for doing that. You don't have anything to worry about doing that. Or if you were playing uh, Reborn, you could do two hits, teleport away. But don't just forget this. All right, this is no good to you. This one, out. It's gone. It is not in your vocabulary. It's not in your repertoire anymore. Forget it. All right, okay. Next. Okay, so next move. This is another move. You may have seen it a few times here and there, but you're about to forget it because this move is awful. Forget this move. Totally useless. All right, you ready? Okay, all right. See what it says? See what it says? Minus 25. All right, that is a... That's a go make a sound move to come back. Think about what you want to punish him with. Come back, punish him with it. Late, still. Because it's... it's, it's what, what is the point in this move? It's so bad. And it's just guaranteed death. There's nothing you can do. Oh yeah, you can also get Flawless block, block for it, so that's also whack. Let's see what you gain for it on hit. What you gain. Again, they're full screen, plus twelve, that's basically nothing for that distance. And the risk is phenomenal. So it's all risk, no reward. It's gone. Forget that move. Forget it. Totally whack. Forget it. Forget it. I say, forget it. All right. Okay. Okay. Right. I've established. Don't use forward three two. Don't use back one. Was it back one four one? Yeah. Terrible. Don't death spin on block. These are new moves you should never be doing. All right. They're under no circumstances are they going to do you any good for the most part. So, what do you want to do to actually build a real game? First things first. Back three. All right. Obnoxious move. Good players. Bad players. Everything in between. Everyone's using this move with Scorpion for good reason, right? So, on hit, plus 35, boom, dash up, do it again. Alright, okay, what do you do when you do it again? Yeah, that's right, you do it again. Alright, okay, uh, what, what, what? Yeah, that's right, do it again. So the lesson here for the other guy is, you better stand up. 
Okay. You've back freed them and they're standing up. What does that mean? That means now you know they're standing up in this situation. Which gives you grab. Alright. Ideally you want forward grab. Because when you forward grab them you can dash up and do it again. Alright. You see what's going on here? Alright. Okay. Now they're trying to duck your grab. Oh what? Back free. Ah. Oh. You want to stand up and deal with the back free? Get grabbed. All right? Okay. Pretty straightforward, but it's it's a legit thing to do. And then when they start taking your forward grab, you back grab them and you can get them to get escape failed. So now you've got two-way throw, crush, and blow that you can set up for 30 30 percent. So, so that's the very base level of like his offense. You don't really, honestly, you can beat people just doing back frees and forward grabs and back grabs. But there's more to it, and we'll go over that next. Alright, okay. Right, so now you've got your opponent blocking, standing, your back freeze. So they're stand blocking this, and they're hopefully ducking your grabs, right? That's what you want them to be doing, so that you can start layering your offense in different directions. So, what I mean by this is, alright, so they're stand blocking your back free, alright, okay. You stand blocking my back free, you might be open to getting 2-1 on block, right? This is a confirmable string, so combos, bang, straight into teleport, just like the other, just like that did, but on block, you get plus 2, right? So the plus 2 isn't necessarily about you pressing a button faster than them, it's about you being in a space faster than them. So what I mean by this is, I'll just record uh, Scorpion doing this. What I mean by this is he's going to create space for you to do something. So, he's down one. All right, say, say if you're plus two and they mash down one, you want to get out of the way of down one, swing back one on them to punish them. All right, this works with a lot of pokes, like down three or catch whatever. As long as you're, it's not like a down four or something, but if it's down four, then you can just do your down four and it will win. Um, so yeah, it's about creating space. If you're, They're thinking forward, like thinking forward in this context is like, them pressing a button or trying to chase your back dash with something or just basically just moving forward then you want to um if they're yeah if they're pressing a button which is what i'm thinking of moving forward then you want to let them with punish them but there's a flip side to this which is um right, look, i'll let them do it again and now i back dash and now he gets punished you see what i'm saying so, to combat that sort of thing, what you want to do is, you do your 2-1 on block, and you do something to chase it, so it could be like forward three. So that, that, that now, now I can't do that same idea I was just thinking of, right? Because it's, I haven't got the time to get the space. So now you just got to play around this sort of game. You can do other things here, you can do like, you can grab if they're respecting what you're doing. Pretty sure you might be able to even reach. Depends on their backdash. Some characters' backdash are pretty pathetic, so like they won't be able to get out in time. Some like subs got a pretty good backdash, so like he's, he's pretty blessed for that sort of scenario. You're just gonna have to look at that on a character by character basis. So you know now that you can do you can bait their bait their move or chase their escape. Pretty, that's pretty much what it is: bait their move, chase their escape, or if they're sitting there respecting both of those options, you need to go back to your original plan of back three or grab. That's a very like fundamental way to look at it. Keep it simple. Don't um, don't have to get too complex here. Right. Right. So we've established that two ones plus two on block. You get your back dash game. You know you get all this. Blah blah blah. Wait for their down one. Watch them with. Make them look like an idiot. Okay. But when you're playing Searing Rage, because you have this string, you can now utilize this string, which is plus seven on block. All right, it's plus seven. You get to check them with back one. You get to check them with forward freeze. You get to do things like dash up, grab, stuff like that, yeah? But the problem with this string normally is that if they do that, you can actually hit them out of it. So you can see you get conversion, whatever. But, now that you've got the other side of the string, you can do this, right? So we're going to record both both versions of the string, 212 and the other one. And if I just get them to play back randomly, I'm going to try and flawless block 212 every time. So you look, you hit me now. So this is essentially a 50-50 on whether Scorpion's going to be plus or not. 
see, like I'm floor blocking that. Get hit by that. When you get hit by that, obviously your offense goes back to you're gonna back free, you're gonna grab, you're gonna bait the wake up, whatever. You, you get your turn. Like you get a good turn after that, basically. You get a good turn whatever way it goes. You just need to guess if they're gonna flawless block or not. So that's a that's a 50-50 of sorts of like if you can keep your offense going. So yeah, keep that in mind. You might be able to scum out a few more extra turns with that. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. You don't see too many scorpions use it, but that is theoretically sound. Like, it works. So people don't really use it. So, yeah, have fun with that. Actually, don't have fun with that. No fun allowed. All right, next. Okay, so a quick point about his uh, forward four string, this one. The low overhead. First off, <coughs> there is a loss block gap in it, right? So you can actually be launched on the second hit, which a good player will do. They're gonna floors block that. It can be covered by forward four spear, but you don't wanna be doing you don't wanna be doing that because for obvious reasons, alright? However, this is the kind of move that you will get away with once in a match because you've been so ignorant with back three all game that they're just like, oh, you know what, back three has to be coming and then you just slap them with a forward four and you're like you know, he's laugh at them quick and then uh, go back to back three and them to death. Yeah, that's pretty much the way it works. It's very straightforward with this sort of move, I feel. All right, okay, here's something about dealing with Scorpion, okay, like, against him. So, Scorpion as a character, he's got, like, he's got a pretty, pretty uh, solidified dead zone. What I mean by dead zone is, like, it's something where, a range where you stand, where he can just not hit you with anything that he's got. Anything that's worth hitting you with, so... I think it's even like round start sort of zone. Right, so it's here. Yeah, you see how it's like just just past round start, his forward three misses. Like on round start, it will hit, but if you take like that tiny step back, that's where it is. So that means if you're if you're capable of standing in that space and watching pretty much anything he does, you can punish him for it. Right, so this includes back one, same thing. Right, um, back three. Same thing. See what I mean? Like everything he does, all reaches within that same sort of space. So if you can control that sort of range, he's he's got to take some sort of awkward movement. He's got to like double dashing and start chasing you down and things. And that's where it gets a bit awkward for him. So that is something to take like, like into account when you're fighting a character. I know a lot of people don't like fighting him, but honestly, if you're playing any sort of character with any sort of decent mid that can whiff punish this, and you. You become good at stand, like just thinking, don't let him forward free me, and be able to whiff punish the first hit of forward free. You'll be able to mess him up in so many scenarios so easily, especially against all of these online scorpions. They're they're gonna throw out. They're gonna be doing this. They're either gonna be doing this, which is my yeah, I've already been over that. They're gonna kill themselves for that. They're gonna be doing this, you know, uh, uh, or they're gonna be doing like this. But none of that. Like, you can press whatever, uh, one hand whiff punishes, you see what I mean? Like, you can do whatever in this sort of range, and it, like, you can't get the second hit out, doesn't matter. So, as long as you stop the forward three, the character's basically incapable of hitting you. So, he's got to, you got to make it a bit harder for him in that range. I mean, he's probably got uh, down four, actually. Down four is probably better for him for this sort of thing. Because at least then he can get some advantage to come in with his forward three. However, let's say that they're actually, you know, getting in range of the forward three and they're doing stuff like this. You know, this is this is a common thing, isn't it? Forward three, down one. First off, you get you get down one before they do. Obviously, they can KB you with the second hit of the string. But I f I think like if you've got breakaway and they don't have fatal blow, I'd say just Eat the, eat the crush and blow, like, if you can afford to take that risk, just break, because once that crush and blow is gone, it's gone, and then there's no threat to that string anymore, so you can always challenge, right, you can always challenge, you can always eat the second hit, and just be knocked away from his game, and then put back into that sort of, okay, now you have to forward free me again, are you gonna, are you gonna forward free me, because that's what I want, uh, that's pretty much the way it works, if they're doing forward free down one, obviously you can interrupt it, yeah, you, know, you can grab. Uh, even on the down one, you can, you can, after his down one, even you can um, you can check him because he's minus six. So it's not 
it's not like his options are too great. Theoretically, what he has to do is um, forward free, block, and then take his turn like how I was saying earlier, which is going to be back free, down one, something like that, you know. You have to do something after blocking your turn because it's not actually his turn. But this is all like, that's all up to practice and running yourself through the uh, scenario and getting used to it. So yeah, keep that in mind. Basically, the point here is forward free. If you can eliminate forward free, you can eliminate his whole move list except for teleport but if he's going to teleport that's fine just let him teleport he'll kill himself you can react to teleport with just block can't you so he'll kill himself that's that's what scorpion's about he loves just going nuts and killing himself really okay right i guess the final thing i should bring up is let's talk about his neutral game right you see obviously he's limited to the, the range on his forward three like that's the, the thing that you're gonna hit or block from like the furthest sort of range so once you eliminate that he's not really got much going on he's got teleport that you can react to your projectiles with uh he's got spear so i'm absolutely free for this but no comment you know i'm just gonna eat spears all day it's pretty fast pretty fast right um but you'll see a lot of scorpion players do this right yeah they're trying to jump they're trying to wait for your projectile and you're just doing whatever what you do against that is you actually let me just record what i mean so he's just gonna be like huh, 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 huh. oh yeah i'm behind you now so you just wait keep keep control of that space where they're only able to forward three and then like i said earlier if they're gonna do the teleport little mind game on you you apply what i just taught you in the last bit so now you're approaching on him he's only got forward three you're keeping that strict space that i was talking about and at the same time, you're keeping in mind the uh, timing of the teleport on block and the cancel. So now you've just eliminated pretty much all of his game, except for, okay, you might eat a random spear or whatever. He's got a, he's got to get in inside that forward free range to be able to grab or back for you, pretty much. I mean, if you can, uh, if you can keep all of these things strictly down, Scorpion should be a relatively simple fight for most characters, especially if you've got like a good mid, like I was saying earlier. If you've got a good mid that you can whiff punish uh, forward three with, you're laughing. Like Night Wolf forward one, Kane forward one. I mean, even Sub Zero back three, back one. There's a lot of Kung Lao forward one. The list goes on basically. Just keep these things in mind. Katana, 1-2, you know, there's, there's plenty of things going on. Robocop, forward three, there's plenty you can do. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, all I've got to say about Scorpion, really. Just don't do death spin. Don't do back one four one. Don't do forward three two. Just don't do it. Um, and with the teleport, like, against him, don't let him forward three you. And... Um, Keep in mind the cancel window of the teleport so that he can't just rinse you by teleporting behind you. Like some Dragon Ball character. We ain't playing that, alright? But yeah, um, again, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. If you don't like the video, feel free to subscribe. If you're anywhere in between, feel free to subscribe. If you want to slag me off, slag me off in the comment. Tell me why I'm an idiot. It's fine. I can handle it. I'm a big boy now, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I think I know who I'm going to do next, but give me give me some ideas of what you want to know about in the um, the comments because I could talk about this game like for eternity, really. So just yeah, give us a shout. Let me know what you what you want to know about, and I'll see what I can do in it. Thank you, appreciate it. While I'm here, I may as well mention a couple of uh, Scorpion players that would be worthwhile watching because they're actually really good at applying all these things I've been saying and more because, you know, there is more to Scorpion than what I've just shown you. This is just the, the basics, pretty much. If you go watch um, Averk13, he's a sick Canadian Scorpion, and uh, Rise Mirko, who is a sick Italian Scorpion. They're both pretty much the pinnacle of what you're going to see from Scorpion in this game, so go check them out. Um... I think Mirko you can find if you search for ESL. Like it'll, it'll be, he's played in like a billion ESL tournaments, and uh, Averk streams on Twitch, and you can probably find his gameplay on YouTube as well. So yeah, go check them out as well. All right, in a bit.